Hi everyone, it's Tansy here from Tansy Forest Hypnotherapy, signing in for the latest chapter of your self-development journey. And today I have for you a hypnosis meditation for alcohol moderation. And this will be perfect if you, like many others, are cutting down on alcohol whilst feeling relaxed, calm and happy as you make these wonderful beneficial changes in your life. And this narrative is based on a lovely holiday setting too, so that you can really kick back and feel at ease today. And as many of you know, this is a topic close to my heart, as I myself cut down on alcohol with the help of hypnotherapy in order to live a healthier and happier life. And it's now my honour to work with clients face to face in South London and around the world via Zoom. I use a combination of hypnotherapy and moderation research-based techniques to help people drink less and feel much better. So if you'd like some one-to-one -one sessions, please don't hesitate to get in touch at the link below. And I'm delighted to say I've never had a client that hasn't cut down. As always, I'd like to say a big hello to my subscribers all around the world and my lovely Patreons. I appreciate you every single day as your contributions help make this a free service for everyone to enjoy. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe as I'm working on new material and releasing very regularly. So for now, it is my absolute pleasure to be your guide on this journey deep within. A journey that will allow you to relax, to let go of any projects, issues or concerns of the day. And take some time to focus on your health and well-being. And you are not alone. There are many, many people around the world focusing on cutting down and successfully cutting back and moving on in their life. And I can assure you that it really is the gift that keeps on giving. This is a lovely time that you have set aside to listen, to rest, to heal and move into a space of deep calm. So when you're ready, and only when you're ready, gently closing down your eyelids. Sitting in a relaxed position, or maybe you're lying in your bed. Wherever you are, feel the softness and the support underneath you, holding you. It's as if the universe is cocooning you 
in a fine radiance of deep peace. Your hands lightly resting by your side. Feel the weight of your body now. You may have a sense that you're feeling heavier as you become more relaxed, in tune with your body at this time. Feel the sense of deep peace wash over you. And I'd like you to begin with a simple breathing exercise. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, and in a moment, I want you to breathe in for the count of five. Hold for the count of six. And breathe out for the count of seven. Five, six, seven. Breathe in for the count of five. Hold for the count of six. And breathe out for the count of seven. So just go ahead and do that now. That's good. And as the air leaves your mouth, You can just feel a deep sense of letting go. Letting go of the day, the week, or even the past. Just continue now. Five, six, seven. Sending a soothing message to your nervous system. This is a time when you can relax into your own inner world. That's good. Just bring your breathing pattern back to a normal rhythm. Feeling nice, you relax.
You may even like to imagine that you're lying now on a soft, fluffy cloud. Just imagine that cloud now. All around you. Supporting you. Feels so soft. Cushioning every part of your body. Holding you. You might like to imagine that you're drifting in the sky now. Perfectly safe. Lifted. Held. Drifting gently in the breeze. Not a care in the world. Moving softly. Supported. Just imagine now that this cloud is moving. It's taking you on a journey journey to a wonderful place, drifting, drifting, after some time, as if by magic, you feel this cloud is taking you down a lovely island where you can spend some time relaxing. On a wonderful holiday just for you. Drifting down now to the island. Feel the cloud moving down now. And as I count down from ten to one, you will fall into a deep state of trance. Ten. Down and down. Deeper down. Nine. Easy rest, easy peace. Eight, the more you let go, the better you feel. Seven, enveloped in this fluffy cloud, safe. And six, moving on down. The more you let go, the better you feel. Four, three, deeply relaxed, deeply at peace. Two, and one, to that deeper, healthier level of the mind. All things can be suggested to you for your highest benefit. And as if by magic, you find yourself being placed down gently cloud 
onto the most beautiful Greek island in a little fishing port, stepping down from your cloud onto the floor, the cobbled streets of grey stone cover the port area. It's quiet here, and all around the port are little fishing boats bobbing in the water. Looking down into the water, you see it so clear, so fresh, and so clean. You can see the fishes in the water. It looks very inviting. There's a lovely fresh breeze, and the weather couldn't be kinder. The Greek sun is a beautiful temperature at this time in the morning, and you find yourself taking a stroll along the portside area. It's a lovely, calm, peaceful time of day, and you are looking around the lovely little port. Many cafes, little shops, bakeries, serving traditional Greek pastries. And the cafes and restaurants are all being laid out for the day, with their tables, fresh white and blue linen tablecloths, wooden chairs, little pots of flowers, and awnings to protect people later on from the hottest sun of the day. There's a market too, and people are buying fresh vegetables and fish brought in by the fishermen from their little boats. It's a lovely relaxing scene. You feel very calm, and you're just enjoying exploring nowhere particular to go, nothing particular to do, it's your holiday. Walking along the quayside, you spend some time looking over to other islands far in the distance. The sea further out is a deep dark blue and the birds dip and dive. The scent of the sea is unmistakable. The salty freshness invigorates you, and you take in some nice deep breaths. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. That's good. Feel your shoulders sinking down. You have arrived here, and it feels amazing to be on your lovely little holiday. But for now, it's time to have a nice coffee or tea, or whatever you enjoy in the morning. You find a little taverna at the end of the port overlooking the harbour. There's an awning to protect you from the brighter sun, and a nice wooden chair. A kind waitress comes out and greets you warmly. You order your drink, and she goes to prepare it for you. It's nice to have some time for reflection, just for you. Your whole body feels at ease, this lovely holiday feeling. Just 
just enjoying your time, amusing yourself, feeling relaxed and at peace with the world. And as you look out across the seascape, you realise that you have an amazing opportunity now to enjoy this holiday, to really set yourself up for the next chapter of your life that hasn't even been written yet. You're really looking forward to all that life has to offer and this holiday is just the start. As you relax here, feel the relaxation flowing now down through your forehead, radiant peace that moves over your eye, your eyelids your cheeks. It's like the breeze from the island is flowing onto your body, down onto your shoulders and your back. Feel your back relaxing now. And that breeze from the harbour flows all the way into your lower back your thighs, your knees and down into the calves, the feet, just the perfect temperature to relax your body. Feeling cocooned, this lovely positive energy, resting peacefully calmly drifting down, drifting down. And as you look out across this beautiful natural vista, the sun shines down on the water and it looks as though there are thousands and millions of diamonds shining on the water's surface. You realise now that you have a wonderful opportunity to shine. And by following your moderation journey, you have the chance to set yourself up for a healthy, enjoyable and fulfilling future. Gazing across to the other islands, you get a sense of perspective. You realise there's absolutely nothing holding you back from creating the future of your dreams. Your best life and a life that you really don't want to escape from by numbing yourself with over drinking. And in fact, as you cut down and as the days and nights are going by, you're really enjoying feeling clear, feeling fresh when you wake in the morning so nice just to get away and reflect on how your life is going. And you realise in the peace and quiet of this moment that you're very proud of yourself. You're proud of the decision you've made to change your life for the better. Not everyone does that. part of you that decides to listen to me now is the aspect of you that has the strength, the courage and the determination to make these positive changes. And cutting down 
being alcohol free for periods of time is simply a matter of creating new habits, new rituals that feel special and nurturing for you. And the alcohol made moderation is not just about cutting down. It's about creating a life that you love, that you don't want to escape from. You are ready to really enjoy this holiday. And you're thinking about the enjoyable activities to fill your time with. Perhaps you'll get a lovely massage. Feel the soothing touch on your shoulders. That human connection and care that feels so wonderful. Or perhaps you might like to try something different. Like some water sports. Or a walk in nature. Perhaps somewhere down the coast somewhere. You're also looking forward to trying new cuisine. It's so nice to do the things that you don't normally get to do. Such as reading a good book on your sun lounger. Lingering over a nice fresh coffee in the morning. Or simply gazing across the horizons. That is what holidays are about. Kicking back and enjoying the sunshine. Or whatever you really like that nourishes you, helps you enjoy yourself, helps you relax. Time to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. A change can be as good as a rest, I've once heard it said. And for some of us, we may have associated holidays with drinking more than we would normally. We've tried it. We've done it. That's what we did at the time. But you and I now know that it's time to move on. Because really, the truth is, once you come back from your holiday, you want to feel rested refreshed and rejuvenated. This is your priority now, to fill yourself with feelings of health, clarity and calm. This is the emotional language that you're feeling, the emotional language that you're hearing. Seeing yourself as a person who naturally drinks less alcohol and on many occasions no alcohol at all. And at certain points in the year you might be having a holiday from alcohol, which is a wonderful way to reset your tolerance, to give your mind and body a break and to focus on all the other enjoyable aspects of your life. And it's true to say that when the fog of alcohol overuse dissipates, like the morning mist on the sea, life becomes clearer brighter, more vibrant, and the everyday smaller aspects of life become more enjoyable as your relationship with others become closer, your sleep becomes deeper and more refreshing.
there is a sense of freedom, not thinking to, about alcohol all the time, and a sense of accomplishment and achievement that you're doing something so wonderful for you now and in the future, and also for those around you. For when we drink less, we can more easily connect with people around us, and we can be there for those who really matter. Because the simple truth is, we're more responsive, more engaging, rather than numbing ourselves with more alcohol, and that sense of pride surrounding these positive changes is so fortifying. And as the days and the weeks are going by on your moderation journey, you're really feeling that your confidence is increasing, a feeling of, I can do this, I can really do this, it's an amazing feeling, because I know and you know. Sometimes with the overuse of alcohol, it can be a bit of a lonely time. Some people say that it can be confusing and isolating. But all of that is fading into the past. Because you can and are moving into a new phase of life. It's not just a new chapter in your life, it's a new book entirely. You realise that you are the architect of your future. You are the architect of your future. And holidays when perhaps chilling near the beach, such a lovely time to think about how you really want to live your life when you get back home. Are there any small or larger changes you want to make? Any aspirations you want to work on? Just have a think whilst I am quiet. And a wise person once told me, if you can imagine it, you can hold it in your hand. Holidays give us that calm and clarity to really hone the part of the life that we want to focus on. Taking a holiday in your mind is a wonderful time to see into your future. And as you look out across the coastal vista, you can see the clear blue sky with the odd cloud coming across, moving across the horizon, blowing gently on its way. And you realise that this represents any sense of doubt or unhealthy thought pattern, you just let them go like the clouds in the sky. See them drifting, drifting, as you tune in with this calm, confident, intuitive part of you. The part of you that has decided to embark on this moderation journey. And healing is a journey, it is not an event. Healing is a journey, not an event. And as you look into your future, there will be many times when you simply choose not to drink, 
or have a break from alcohol as it shrinks in significance in your life because it feels wonderful just to enjoy your life and all that it has to offer feeling hydrated, clear and calm And these moments are supporting you to move forward with confidence and determination. Because the simple truth is, and I see it every day, when we remove the overdrinking from a person's life, they arrive as their finest personal and professional aspects are realized. And as you look into your future, you see that you're attracting great people, great places, and more wonderful opportunities. You have a deep feeling of positivity, optimism, hope, and trust in your future. And you will do what it takes to continue to develop a healthier relationship with alcohol and with yourself. You have the determination to do this. And even if you have a moment in time when you drink more than you intended to, it's okay. It happens to the best of us every now and then. You just draw a line on it and start again the next day. And you may think this is similar to when people go on a diet. It's been going well. They've been sticking to what they intended, eating healthily, exercising. And then one day, for whatever reason, they eat a little too much. A large slice of cheesecake perhaps and then the whole thing comes falling down like a house of cards and they give up on their healthy intentions now we would not recommend that would we and if it happened to a friend we would say don't worry about it just another day. Get back on with your healthy intentions as soon as you can. Nobody is perfect. And the same is true with alcohol. And it's what we do for the larger part of the time that matters. Looking at the bigger picture as you increase your self-knowledge you will find that these instances diminish naturally. As you develop a true and clear understanding of your individual overdrinking triggers. Life is a learning experience and it's not about being better than the other person but better than your previous self. Making steps on your terms, in your own way. So that you look back over a longer period and you realise just how far you've come. And as the days and the nights go by, you will employ different strategies to help you, such as finding lovely alcohol-free alternatives to intersperse when you do drink alcohol, or just to have when you take some alcohol-free time. There are so many new and lovely refreshing varieties out there, and you are enjoying finding out more about them choosing your preferred tipple and pouring it into a lovely glass, perhaps with ice, making it special.
it's all about that ritual, having some time for you, perhaps at the end of the day, when you enjoy a lovely cooling drink at sunset. You might like to see yourself now on the balcony of your hotel. The sun is setting and the stars are beginning to come out, like diamonds in the blue black of the night. Are you sitting there perhaps alone or maybe in company and you have a lovely alcohol free drink? Just imagine that now, a large glass perhaps with ice or a tall drink or a cool, refreshing beer, whatever you choose is all up to you. See yourself relaxing, enjoying that drink, unwinding and hydrating. And the wonderful news is that alcohol-free drinks have less sugar in them, so it really is a healthier version in that respect too sipping and enjoying and planning the rest of your evening. Perhaps you're going to go out to a lovely beachfront restaurant or just relaxing at the hotel with your room service. Either way, it's all up to you. And the truth is, you're enjoying your life so much more for drinking less alcohol. Seeing that these effects are cumulative, a positive snowball moving through your life. Your sleep is improving, so your energy levels are improving, so your productivity is improving, so your mood is improving, which is helping you make even better choices. This positive snowball moves from one aspect of your life to another. And then you realise there's actually no aspect of your life that's not improved by drinking less alcohol. As the months go past and even the years, you realise you're creating an amazing future for yourself. You've even got a healthier bank balance because all of these things are just clicking into place. You've tried over drinking in the past. That was then. This is now. You are moving into a different space. And once I heard a famous phrase that it's not so much as who you used to be, but who you choose to be. It's not as much as who you used to be, but who you choose to be. And this is so important to realise, as you can and will transition into healthier behaviours. When you follow the simple steps, having a rest from alcohol, looking after your body and mind eating well and planning ahead for social occasions that include alcohol, or skipping it all together, making sure that you hydrate yourself, and having a plan. Also, you think ahead to the next day, and how you really want to feel. More and more you're realising you don't want to wake up feeling a bit second hand. You want to wake up feeling bright and fresh, ready to enjoy your day. And it's true to say that the less you drink, the less you want to drink as you move into this wonderful space, a calm place, a restful peaceful space that represents you becoming the person you really want to be. 
and in a few moments time I'm going to bring you back to the present time, present place, the count of five your eyes will open, so ready, one, two, three, four, eyes opening gently, and five, eyes wide open, welcome back, welcome back,